And welcome to our special community spotlight series where we are supporting our business community and talking with business leaders, especially about how they're operating their business right now during this unique time with the COVID-19 pandemic. And joining me now is the owner of the Digital Media House, McRae Kane. And McRae, thanks for joining us. How have you pivoted and how have you had to change things during the COVID-19 as a marketing agency? We haven't seen much of a change in business load, but the type of business has changed. We aren't doing as much expo and, and promotional products and things in more physical proximity to each other because of the quarantine. But we are seeing an increase in online work. So a lot of clients who have brick and mortars obviously have been shut down for quite a while now. And they're realizing that they're not going to make enough money to stay in business the next few months unless they go online and start selling the products online. One particular client of mine, they have a brick and mortar store where they sell recreated merchandise and different products for like handbags and things like that. And they're noticing that they need to go online and sell some things because they're going to lose their business. So they've started doing face masks and they sell them online. We've had an increase in sales queries, but a lot of them are using it as a stepping stone for when COVID's over. They're realizing that they need something to be done for their marketing, especially after everything's dropped so much recently in their revenue. So they're going to need to step up their marketing game again, but they're waiting to see if they're still in business in the next few months. So it hasn't really dropped for me other than just shifted around in what type of business is being being purchased. One of the benefits of being an online business for the most part, like we are here at Business Radio X, and I would be remiss if I didn't say that you have done a lot of work for us, a lot of our show tiles on our website, some of the signage now here in our studio is through the Digital Media House, but you're, you're a small business, you're the really the only employee, you have a lot of contractors do a lot of your work, but you're the only employee, so I don't want to say you've been kind of lucky compared to some other businesses, but you haven't had to furlough anybody. That's, that's correct, yes. But you have had to change the ways you do a little bit of business. And it's hard to do sales, too, to go out and to prospect right now. You can't go to prospecting meetings. You can't go to chamber events and things like that. How have you used the, the downtime, if you will? Because I'm sure you have a lot more time on your hands now, McCray, than you have in the past. It is interesting, though. I do think clients and vendors have become more lax as far as professionalism. You'll call a client, and I got three little kids. They're crying in the background. They're a lot more understanding and sympathetic of that because what am I going to do? I have right. A, right at this point in my life, a five-year-old and two three-year-old little girls. I can't stop them from doing anything. And sometimes I'll call you know a vendor or somebody that I'm using, and they'll have a dog in the background because they're at home as well. And it's just interesting because people are a lot more understanding. And so I feel like the clientele work and the workload is easier and we can put more creative effort into it because it's not this rush, rush, rush that our society has always been in. Get it done now as fast as possible, cheap as possible. It's a little more collaborative, which is the way we work best. We like to work collaborative with our clients. We want to be that outsourced CMO, that contract CMO with the outsourced creative and and marketing team. If you don't have that in-house, we supplement that for you either until you bring in your own group or if you need to overflow, we can be there for you as well. With the whole COVID-19 crisis going on right now, it seems like it's more important than ever to have your, your digital marketing in place, to have a, a good website, because more and more people now at home, they're checking things online. They're on their computers all the time right now. Have you seen a, a change in the way people are approaching their website? Absolutely. It's interesting to me. This industry, relatively speaking, is very young, 15, maybe 20 years old, but I'd say probably the last 10 years has the web world become something of of a business requirement. And that means that people, older generations of business owners and older companies have been successful offline for so long, they don't really understand or see the need of why that website's important. So a lot of times they just have one just because you have to have one for whatever reason. Well, they're realizing now that when their brick and mortar has been shut down for two months, they can't have any traffic coming to their stores or losing revenue that they still can do business online. So what they're doing is starting to take what's called their web presence more seriously. They're understanding that their website has to look like their brand, that has to feel like their brand, it has to cater to their customers, has to cater to their, their target audience. You can't just have a website that's hard to navigate, that has basic information, doesn't really serve any purpose anymore. It needs to actually be your new storefront. It's your front door. Absolutely. And I think it evens the playing field, too, because a lot of folks think I can't have a good-looking website, but you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to make it look very, very professional. No, you don't. It's all about the scope of what you're trying to accomplish. If you have a massive website and all these unnecessary pages or unnecessary features on your site, well, it can get expensive, but you can make a minimalist site that looks really good that accomplishes your goals. And it really all depends on what you need on your website. 
I've had plenty of clients that call me up saying, hey, I want to get a website, I need 10, 15 pages, blah, blah, blah. And we do an evaluation of it and realize that we can consolidate half those pages down, make a longer homepage, do some work for online marketing, have landing pages and, and other things for SEO purposes. But a lot of times people don't need the amount of pages or the amount of website space that they think they do. When it comes to websites, digital marketing, things like that, I know you create a lot of the content. Do you also do consulting for your clients? Absolutely. We're very collaborative, like I said. We will work around whatever makes the most sense for the project and for the client. If it's a matter of me and one of my team members being on the project and co-working with one of their team members or another vendor of theirs or even somebody who would be considered a competitor of ours, we work quite well with everybody because we do white label and we also transparent partnership our, our services. So... I can come into a project personally where you have your own vendors, your own team. Maybe the project's just not quite going the way you want it to, but because of my specialty and my skill sets, I can project manage the whole project and I can work with your vendors to help you get it over the hurdle. I've actually done that for a handful of my competitors behind the scenes to make sure that their projects get done so that they don't have to you know, fail a project or give money back to a client because they couldn't accomplish the goals. I'm going to ask you a sort of a consulting question now. With, with everything going on with COVID-19, it seems to me that you would want to market your company more so than ever to let people know that you are still open for business. That's right. Online or wherever the case may be. If you're a restaurant, you know, you're still doing the pickup. That's right. And delivery and things like that. It's critical for people to know if you're a restaurant that you can pick up food from their location still. Right. Because you know, otherwise, nobody's going to know. We actually have a client who is a restaurant and they decided to reopen their doors for takeout, which wasn't a thing they did but previously, but they decided to revamp a small service on the side that allowed for that otherwise they they go out of business so we actually did a snail mail campaign if you want to call it just an actual mail out campaign that said hey we're open here's a small sample of our takeout menu call us we're right down the street we did like a five mile radius around their location to get people to realize that they're also open they're an option you don't have to be making food at home today you can get some some food from the mm -hmm. restaurant so during this COVID-19 we've really had to take a look in the mirror and, and, and reevaluate a lot of things have you learned anything new about yourself or your business since this whole crisis began? That's a, that's a wonderful question. Uh, that's a very deep question. <laughs> I need some time to think about that one. That's a good one. I probably eat too much is one of the things I'd say. Uh, <laughs> Join the crowd. I, when I came here, I couldn't find a shirt that fit. I was like, oh, no, I got to do something about this. <laughs> that's one thing. You know, as far as my business, again, my industry hasn't changed that much because we're used to working remote and online and digital. So yeah. it's just a, an ebb and flow for us. Yeah, again, it goes back to the fact that you do most of your work online, so it, it hasn't affected you as much as it has a lot of your clients. You know, I actually, I tell you one thing that, that I did learn. I need an exterior office in my backyard so that my kids can't find me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's one thing I do need. So I might buy some sort of you know 10-foot shed and deck it out as an outdoor office because I need a space like that. <laughs> and you probably got very good at Zoom calls and video I, conferencing. I There's, yes. The Digital Media House. McCray Kane is our guest here on Community Spotlight. For those that would like to reach out and talk to you and maybe even get some consulting, but uh, you do great work as we've talked about here. Thank you. What's the best way for people to find out more about you? And I have a feeling you're going to send us to a website. Wow, that's a great, that's a great guess. Yeah. So, it, thedigitalmediahouse.com is probably the quickest and best way to, to get access to us. And you can call 770-835-5960. Either one, let us know what you need, and we can definitely help you out with anything you have. The Digital Media House, McCray Kane, joining us here on the Community Spotlight on Business Radio X.